Hey guys, welcome back, and we are on the Far Side server again today. And we decided to start off on the Nether, the roof of the Nether again. I figured I would show you guys that don't know this how to put a hole in the roof of the Nether. So there we go, right? We dug out that right there. So that's we want to dig out our dig out. We want to uh, grow a tree, and then we're gonna try to grow this down. And I think it has to be dark oak saplings. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with a solid block, hard block. It just, netherrack worked last time, so I'm going to, I'm going with netherrack again. And then we're going to, I don't know if this part's needed, but we're going to engulf it all around with, with that right there. So that the only place it really wants to go or should grow is down. So that's our goal is to make it grow down, grow down. Come on. This is what I did last time, right? Right? I think. Nope. Obviously not because it should have grown by that time. Um, what did I do? Did I, no, I, I'm pretty sure I had that in. Oh, you know what? This was dirt. I'm like 80% sure this was dirt. Let's try that again. Dirt, 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 dirt. And there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Look at that. Hey, that looks like an actual good one this time. So we just put dirt up top and it looks like it's gr it grew down. So let's see what we can get here. Now, you might be thinking, where are you exactly that you're doing this again? So I went um, I went above my base, like, oh yeah, I think we're good here. Um, I went above the, uh, yeah? Okay, so we got our way down, but the question is, do we have an actual, like, good way down, or do I have to try to grow this again? Let's see. Let's take out the wooden here so that it starts despawning these leaves in case we have to grow it again. Um, here we go. I think I see another one right here. Yep, there we go. We got everything here. That goes actually like down, down. Because that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for... Oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, uh, I'm right... I, I'm somewhere near my portal. So, that's what we're going to do is we're just going to carefully dig... <laughs> And try not to die. Um, to where my portal is 61131. So we're like literally right above it. And I'm pretty sure there's lava somewhere above my portal. So that's what we're being careful about. Um, we're going to be coming right up on top of it. There we, there we are. So there's my portal. And that goes straight up to the top. So what I'm trying to do here today is uh, build a gold farm. Now, I know they can be really laggy for servers, especially pushing uh, zombie pigment through a portal and doing it on the overworld. But I don't know if there's some reason why everyone does it on the overworld exactly or, you know, I don't know the exact reasons. Um, but I'm going to try to build it just all up here and not push. I wonder if we have another spot that goes through here. Looks like not quite. Not quite. Close, but no cigar. Um... To where I'm just going to actually do do do. Let's build up here. I'm just going to uh, cover this all up because this is the this is my one. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build. We I read up that it needs to that if you're within 32 blocks of the zombie pigmen, that's when they get aggressive towards you. So. I figured the highest they can spawn, let's just say this they could spawn up here, but they can't. So we'll just go up from here, 32. So this is going to be, so we're at 128 at our feet. So if we went up to 32 higher, it would be 160. I need some, uh, I'll get ladders. I'll ender pearl down, then we'll get ladders on our way back up. So if we came up here to 160... So right here, right? We came up here and we built zombie. Uh, started building a area for zombie pigmen to spawn. They sh unless if there's something that I don't know about to where they don't spawn up on top at all or something. This should work to where we can go up there and start building a piston pushing system, and I'll just gather them at that level. So everything. 
The farm will be above that, and I'll gather everything above that, collect them there, and then I'll kill them in the nether here. Um, like I said, I don't... I know people build them where they push them back through the world into the regular overworld. But I know that causes a bunch of leg, and I obviously don't want to do that on an SMP because it's going to be just horrific on an SMP server. But I figured if I do it over here, it will be fine. I mean, I would think it would be fine. Um, I mean, and if it if it's too leggy or something, then I mean, I guess the worst we do is we take it down, right? I mean, <laughs> not a big deal. So uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna be working on. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done this episode. We gotta go to sp gotta go do another enchantment for sure this episode. And uh, I haven't got anything figured out with the villagers yet. Um, maybe we'll do that. So. But this is kind of my priority right now. I want to kind of test it to where I want to build a, like a two or three rows of it. Test it. Then go up. Then when I AFK, I'll go up to 250. I'll go up to the maximum height up here. And then I'll AFK there. So um, I'm going to try doing that. I think I'll uh, bring in uh, two or bring, go build a couple rows of it and just give a, a theory test to make sure it works. Okay, so we tested one theory to make sure that these guys could spawn. I just went up to 250 and see if they could spawn at the very lowest level. This is going to be their collection level. Um, now my other theory is if I kill them up here, I'm 32 blocks away from any of them that will be underneath the bedrock to where will they be aggressive at me? So let's let's give that a try. Come on. I know all these guys will turn aggressive at me, which is fine. That's fine. Because I'm going to have them put away like that in, in this little capture area like I said now now is the moment of truth I should probably put like <laughs> uh, unless if them dying right there falling right there and taking damage like that is gonna be bothersome you know what I'm going to have to I think the safest way for me to do this is going to be to run to where uh where we have it over here by spawn or whatever our spawn portal this one right here I think this is gonna be the smartest way to do this is by going down right here because if I can go because right here it's fairly safe to go down and there were pigmen right here let's see okay so I hear pigmen They're not aggressive towards me. Good, perfect. So, all my theory for this farm will work. And look at all these zombie pigments spawning in here. So my theory will work, and I'm assuming being up so high will cause them not to spawn down here. Or at least a good majority of them won't be able to spawn down here, so that's a good thing. Uh, so, we're gonna, <laughs> since we have that figured out, I need to do a couple things. One being, I need a lot of string. Um, because, ooh, I'm going to do the piston string pushing idea, which I'm right over here. Uh, it's going to be what I go for. And so, yeah, we. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited about this. All right. So, we got the little shoot taken care of now. Um, I'll show it to you guys from the other angle here in just two seconds. We got now the vines which are going to be right here and then we're going to put just the normal vine system of that with buttons beneath them so that it doesn't uh you know take any damage or whatnot um when they fall because this is the according to what i tested in creative hopefully it's right these guys should be not a one hit kill but they should be good to where i can uh throw a splash potion on them and get them so uh, let's go down and show you guys what's going on so you might be thinking why did you put them so close together well uh, first off we can't have any mob spawn on these right so that's um, one reason but the second reason why they're so close is because we have baby zombies our baby zombie pigment and I didn't look up to see if they were one one and a half blocks but Baby zombies are now one block. I remember that. So I'm assuming baby zombie pigmen are also one block tall. So 
with that being said, that is why I uh, went ahead and did that. Um, so I just want to show you guys the working working deal. So I will uh, build up, stay up here for a minute or so, and then go back down. So by the looks out looks of it, it worked out good. Um, not obviously this part hasn't been tested yet, but uh, we only had zombies spawn down here, and they only spawned inside of here. So this is kind of my plan of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, see. Hmm. Baby zombies are gonna be an issue. See, so what I plan on doing is hitting one like that that I can. And then I'm going to take my splash potions that I don't have with me. And then I'm just going to throw them on, like, get them all gathered in a corner like this. Hey, turned into a zombie. Regular zombie. Sort of thing. And then I'm going to, um, come on. And then I'm going to have hoppers all in here and try to get hoppers to collect everything. And take it to one side and then bring it, like, to a chest that will be right here or something. So that's kind of the goal of it not the goal but what I want to do so um so yeah <laughs> look at that's a lot of that's a lot of stone slabs so now I need a lot of pistons and I need a lot of string so the string is going to be one of the main things for sure that uh that we do on this so let me go down here real quick um you know what huh I have this chest here for a reason, so we might as well keep the stuff over here that I know I want to keep here, which will be all that stuff for sure. Maybe that. I don't know. That for sure. Yep. Man, that's exciting. I've been waiting to have one of those things. And a good thing about that too is um, the zombie flesh I'll be able to trade with villagers too along with the gold. And the gold's the main thing I've been wanting to do for the trading with the villagers. And I realized, you know, I at the beginning of the episode I would mentioned... People usually take them to the overworld, and I remember why now. So then they don't meet, make, or hit a uh, spawning cap, I'm assuming. Um, so that's that's probably the reason why, <laughs> why they send them to the overworld, so then they can just keep spawning them and keep spawning them, and then collect a whole bunch of them instead of hitting a, a spawn cap, which makes sense. But we're not going to do that. There's my splash potions. Uh, we're not going to do that because I'm fine with it just being a regular... Uh, mob system sort of farm uh i don't want to send stuff through to you know to the whatchamacallit so that's how we're gonna do it all right um enchanting so we're back at the connive enchanting room <laughs> we've been here a lot lately uh he's out of lapis so uh i'm not going to do it uh not going to do it not going to buy from him this time which is okay which is interesting because I think I put in that ninth ninth iron last episode. So either Kaniva came on and did an enchant or someone stole from Kaniva. Level 30, power 4, lure. Lure 1. That sucks because I want lure 3. Please give me something other than a power on this. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't need a power 4. Like, I just don't need it. Um... Maybe we feed, maybe we can give it to Searance in his library. Let's go to Searance's library real quick. I haven't been here for a while. Oh yeah, okay. We got something else we gotta do here while we're at spawn. Um Searance pay here. Uh bargain bin. <laughs> what would he say if I put a power four in a bargain bin? He would not be a happy guy. So we got this little uh this little thing over here that's on fire. I don't know. I'm. I was trying to sing like Adele right there. Our uh, Alicia Keys, I think it is. This girl is on fire. Um. Why not? Why? Anyways, Death Games. Boom. It's gonna be here soon. But I thought it was going. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Um. Let's check the shop. You know what? Let's not check the shop because I haven't really put anything in there and I don't think anyone's really been on to buy saddles or anything like that. Tort lowered prices on his shop. So what should we buy? Let's do a little bit of buying. Netherrack, Soul Sand, Diorite. Ooh, I would... I am so 
buying those. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get 40 iron out here. Ah, uh, 45. I can do multiplication, don't worry. I'm an engineering student, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so we need eight. So there's eight. 10, 18, 18, 30. That's 30 iron. 30 iron. Hmm, do I want anything else? 30 iron. I don't think I want anything else. Do I? No. Mossy brick? No. Mossy cut? No. Dirt, stone brick. What's that one? No. Smooth stone? No. Cobble? No. What is the one? Not the mossy. Um. He doesn't have it. The like chiseled. What that guy's holding? The chiseled stuff. I don't see him having it. I don't see him having it anywhere. Nope. Nope. Okay, so we owe him 8, 20, 30 iron. Pay here. You want 30 iron, Tord, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4. 30 iron. There you go. Look at that. He's even got a little hopper system. There you go. Look at it. All right, so we gave him 30. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Zangief doesn't have anything in this shop yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, anything else around shop that's worth checking out? Nope, nope, and nope. Um, <laughs> sorry to say there isn't, really. Uh, Zangief's shop doesn't have anything I want. Kaniva's potion shop? Nope. And, uh, so yeah. Hey, he still has my box there, look at that. So, okay, we're going to go work on that gold farm some more. All right, well, that answered the question I had about that, I guess. I was wondering, can zombie pigmen spawn on these blocks with the with the redstone? Which, obviously, they can. That was answered right by that. So, bye. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, because they can spawn in there, it looks like. So, uh, the only thing I have, I mean, I can prevent them from spawning there. And then I can put them, I mean, I'd have to put them right there, but that's, <laughs> I I would assume a baby zombie pigman can still spawn there. Which, is there really any way to prevent them from spawning there? I don't think so. I really don't. Nope, we don't want that one there, because then that cuts off the red steam. Oh no, nope. we gotta put, we gotta put one down here. There we go, one right there. Indian, a bunch of them right there. That's the only, that's the only thing I can think of. Like I said though, but I think, I think baby zombies are still gonna be able to spawn there. Baby, baby zombie pigmen. I guess we'll find out. So this is one layer. This is what, this is what they're all gonna look like, right? They have two spawning spots right here, or two high to spawn in. They'll spawn. I'm assuming they're only too high. I should probably look that up. <laughs> but, uh, and then these are half slab just for the testing that I just did. Um, and what's that guy doing right there? He's not supposed to be there. I thought I already took him off. But, uh, there we go. So if we just drop down real quick. How many do we got? We only got one, two, three. So, that obviously is not a good test or anything like that because we don't obviously have that many two spawning in yet. Not many, many spawn spots. Everything like that. So, this isn't a really good, like, measurement for its efficiency or how good it, it will be. But, uh, like I said, this isn't anything that I want it to be, like, massive, like, overabundant sort of thing. I want to be able to have a way to get gold. And to trade with villagers and a nice little XP farm sort of thing um, on the far side server. So, uh, I think that's going to go ahead and end the episode for today, though. We learned quite a bit about zombie pigmen, where they can and can't spawn, and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys learned a little bit like I did. And, uh, you know, this isn't, like I said, this isn't a mega, oh, this is the best zombie pigmen farm out there. Oh, my gosh. No, it's nothing like that. This is just something be nice to have here for me on the server and uh not the 
most efficient, not the best by any means, but this is my totally own thought, my own way of thinking. Um, just by reading the wiki page for zombie pigment behavior, and uh, I figured this would be a good place to build it. So, uh, I know people have done it before, but I don't know if it's exactly like this. But anyways, so like always guys, uh, I thank you guys for watching. My name's Cluster. Dream big.